let's start with some very basic um, sort of uh, concepts of stromal cells. And I think it's really important to understand um, where the cells um, come from. Um, it, they obviously come from the bone marrow. And they're a component of the bone marrow that's called the stroma. And the stroma is actually everything that's just non-hematopoietic, okay, in terms of cell lineages. We know the bone marrow has a source, um, two stem cell sources, the hematopoietic stem cell, and what's typically called the mesenchymal stem cell, um, although um, I think people have kind of skirted away from, from that term. And I'll, I'll go through the sort of the chaotic nomenclature of stroma cells in my next slide. Um, but the stroma consists of a vast variety of tissues, osteoblasts that line the bone surfaces, endothelial and smooth muscle cells. The endothelial is actually pretty interesting because um, the bone marrow has uh, basically uh, sinusoids. Um, so these are fenestrated uh, endothelial pockets um, where blood cells move in and out of the bone marrow. And actually, stromal cells are frequently, and um, it's almost like a characteristic of stromal cells to line these sinusoidal uh, blood vessels. You obviously have uh, <coughs> the innervation of the bone marrow as well, and then you have adipocytes in addition to um, osteoblasts. And it's generally thought that the stromal cells give rise probably to both the adipocytes and the osteoblasts, and therefore provides a, a resident progenitor. And of course, the stroma provides um, a very important, um, stromal cells provide a very important niche for hematopoietic stem cells, and also orchestrating certain elements of um, uh, hematopoietic differentiation. To view the full video of this and all of our other webinars for bioscientists at the bench, please visit bitesizebio.com slash webinars.